This is the homework for lesson six of module five of grade three. Please get your name on here first. We're completing the number sentence. It says estimate to partition each strip equally and write the unit fraction inside each unit and shade the answer. So here's our example. In this first one, you see the tape diagram. It's in four equal parts. Three of them are shaded, so each one is one fourth, and three are shaded, so this is the unit form, and then that's the fraction. And so we're going to write the fraction given the unit form version of the fraction. So here's the first one two thirds, so that means we need thirds. And that's about as good as I can get it. Uh, two thirds need to be shaded in, so shade that one. And that's two of them, and that's two thirds. Oh, and I have to label each. Each of these is one third. Just like that. So five sevenths. Sevenths are kind of hard, but I'm going to guess that that's maybe a seventh there. And so let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not too bad. They all look pretty close to about the same. Uh, five sevenths means I'm gonna I'm gonna oh and I have to shade I have to label each one of these is one seventh and I have to shade in five of these because five of the sevenths two three four five. And that's what five sevenths should look like. Three fifths. Okay, so I'm going to need fifths. That's going to be, so I'm going to guess, a fifth should be a little bit bigger than a seventh. So I'm going to guess that's a fifth. And I'll try to make another one about the same size. And the next one about the same as those two. And then one more. And then I have one, two, three, I have five fifths. Now that last one looks a little bit bigger than the others, but that's as I think that's about as good as I'm going to get them. So let's label them. You're never going to get them perfectly unless you can measure this somehow and you know exactly how to how big to make each part. Uh, and three of these are supposed to be shaded. So there's one fifth, two fifths, there's three fifths shaded in. And that's three out of five shaded in, three fifths. Uh, they're never going to be perfect, but you want to get them as equal as you can. Just try to take a little bit of time. Some There's really not much of a trick to it with eighths. Eighths will work because you can, it's like folding a piece of paper in half and again and again. So there's half. And that's not exactly half, is it? Because it's a little bit bigger on the right than it is on the left. So I'm going to try that one more time. About like that. And then each half I'm going to cut in half. So now I have fourths. And each of these fourths, if I cut each of these fourths in half, then I'll have eighths. And that's about as good as I'm going to get it. So eighths, each one of these is one eighth. And I have to shade in two of the eighths like that. And that's two eighths. Mr. Abney bought six kilograms of rice. 
He cooked one kilogram of it for dinner. I hope he's not eating it all by himself, because that is a lot of rice. Uh, what fraction of the rice did he cook for dinner? So hopefully he's getting a lot of help eating all this rice. Uh, but when he, he cooked one kilogram, he bought six kilograms. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a piece of tape here. And we need, since there's six kilograms, uh, and one of them, we need, uh, so we're going to have six single kilograms for all of his rice, right? So this whole thing is going to be six K G. Uh, so sixths, let's see, I'll, I'll call it, I'm going to guess that that's about a sixth. And, uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and that last one is a little too long, so I can just make it a little bit. Oops. I can make that a little bit shorter. A lot of times, that's what's going to happen is that your last one is going to be either too big or too small. You might have to add another one on the end, or you might have to shorten your last one to make it closer to the other ones. And uh, you can do that a little, make, make a little bit of adjustment, but don't go crazy. You just want to get them so they look close to being equal. They're not going to be perfect. So let's see, one, each one of these is one kg. Right, so each one of these is, let me, let me label this a little bit differently here. Instead of labeling one kg, each one of these is going to be one sixth of the rice. One sixth of the rice he bought. Right, and that's one kilogram. He cooked one sixth of the rice for dinner. Now, this phrase right here of the rice, you have to have that. You can't just say he cooked one sixth. It's, oh, a fraction is always a fraction of some whole. And you have to name what the whole is when you name the fraction. You can't leave that out. Because otherwise it could be one-sixth of a pound, or I mean one-sixth of a kilogram. It could be one-sixth of the rice that he bought. It could be one-sixth of Mr. Abney. It could be one-sixth of anything. So you be sure that you name the whole of the fraction, especially when you're writing an answer to a word problem. Uh, what fraction of the rice was left? Well, it's like all the rest of it, right? So if this was what he cooked, then he's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six left, right? Five sixths of the rice was left. And now we're just filling in a chart for the second page. And uh, here's the sample. We're looking for, we have a, a picture here of a hexagon split up into six triangles, just like the pattern blocks, the way the triangles fit on top of a he yellow hexagon for pattern blocks. And there's six equal parts, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Got to count them all. Five of number of shaded equal parts goes here. Five of them are shaded, so that's a five. The unit fraction is one sixth. And that's what we're talking about is that you don't, although you don't have to go, you don't, I, I just want to show you one sixth, one sixth. You don't have to go in and label the pictures like this. But the unit fraction is 
the units are always what we're counting and we're counting sixths so that's what the unit fraction the unit fraction will always have a one for a numerator so these are sixths so the unit fraction is one sixth and the fraction shaded there's five of them shaded so there's five sixths so that's how we're going to write our answers for these now this uh, circle there are one two three there's four equal parts three of them are shaded the unit fraction is one fourth and there are three fourths shaded in looking at this piece here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine there are nine squares here so nine equal parts and how many are shaded we have one two three four five six of them are shaded our unit fraction since there are nine equal parts our unit fraction is we're counting ninths so it's one ninth and then since there are six shaded the fraction that's shaded is six ninths of of the shape Uh, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven equal parts. And there are one, two, three, four shaded in. Uh, since there are seven equal parts, we are counting sevenths. So our unit fraction is one seventh. And since there are four shaded in, four sevenths of the shape is shaded in. And now here's another hexagon, which has six equal parts. Three of them are shaded in. Our unit fraction is, since there's six equal parts, we're counting sixths. So our unit is one sixth. And there are three units shaded in, so it's three sixths of the hexagon is shaded in.